Welcome, everyone, and thank you for braving the extreme heat to be here today. We are very excited to talk about the Choice Neighborhoods Implementation Grant and the opportunity that it will provide to the neighborhood that we're standing in right now. At this time, I'd like to welcome Mayor Thelda Williams. This is her third time serving as interim mayor. She has a long history with the city, serving on the council as District 1 representative since 2008, and then previously from 1989 to 1986. So welcome, Mayor Th Thelda Williams. Thank you very much. I, I was just reminiscing when I come in, saying I remember on my first term on council, we wanted to do something like this and could not get the partnerships to do it. So I want to congratulate all of you for being so involved. It is very, very impressive to think how many city departments have become involved and how many community partners are now vested in this project. It's our largest public housing project. It has needed help for a long time, and I am so excited. Just looking at the conceptual drawings, I mean, you, you see the new housing, you see new playgrounds, you see parks, uh, and you see new opportunities. I think that's what's exciting to me is the fact that this is not only going to improve this neighborhood and this area, but what it can bring for the future is what's so important. And I really want to say thank you to HUD. Uh, wouldn't been possible without them first giving us a planning grant, I think for 1.5 million, and then Sydney for all the work that you pulled all the other departments in uh, to enable us to get a $30 million grant to make this happen. So thank you very much and thank you and everyone who's been involved. Uh, you are making a difference in this city you are improving lives, and you are now making a future for a lot of kids that live here. So thank you all. Thank you, Mayor. Now I'd like to welcome James Straisner, uh, who serves as the Regional Administrator for the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development in Region 9, which includes communities across the states of California, Arizona, Nevada, Hawaii, and the U.S. territories in the Outer Pacific region. He's based in San Francisco, so a special thanks to him for braving our extreme heat to come here. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Cindy. On behalf of HUD and Secretary Ben Carson, I am honored to announce that Phoenix has been awarded the Choice Neighborhood Implementation Grant to the tune of $30 million. Um, this award is, is one of five implementation grants that is given to cities across the country. Um, these funds will be, will be leveraged with other public and private agency resources to four additional millions of dollars for this community. So what that really means is we're hoping that this, this $30 million will, will uh, leverage additional funds ninefold. So for every $1 that the Choice Implementation Grant spends, we're, we're hoping that uh, uh, $9 will be leveraged for, for, for the awardees and, and to the partners of this community, um, which, is a, which is a great thing. So the Choice Implementation Grant focuses on, on three different core goals. Um, the first uh, goal is, is housing. Um, HUD is looking to replace the distressed and uh, uh, housing in, in this, this neighborhood to replace it with, excuse me, um, top quality mixed income housing. Um, just like you see here at Aerotera, Aero, Aerotera Apartments. Um, so the housing part of it, uh, I, th I think uh, this, is, this is transforming 500 something units um, and, and adding 600 to the total of 1,100 units um, for this community. And they'll be, they'll be beautiful, as you can see in the, in the, uh, the pictures over here. Um, so the second core goal is for the families um, that live in this community, the residents. Um, this grant will vastly improve um, the, these households um, by providing additional employment opportunities, um, healthcare resources, uh, education. Um, the third thing that this third core goal that this this grant will will do is for the neighborhoods itself. Um, they will the, they will go towards creating uh, better conditions to attract greater investment that results in better schools, a stronger economy, and other amenities that help 
the residents of this community. So just in general, uh, by, by taking this housing stock and, 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 and putting in place a very top-notch uh, mixed income um, housing, you will attract other, other uh, resources, other, other companies that will come in and, and just provide more jobs and just a better community in general. So, so of course, all of this is due to the, the housing plan that, the, that Phoenix submitted to us um, and it was developed through extensive planning and involved, hun involved hundreds of residents and stakeholders providing their input. Um, and we're, we're truly proud that, uh, that, this, that the housing plan is from the community and it will do just what the, the, the community wants it to do. This is something that HUD um, really, really likes to do and, and allows the communities and the cities to, to really um, uh, put the money and the resources where they think it is most needed. And so this is not a... Uh, a program that Washington is setting out and saying, okay, you have to do X, Y, and Z in order to get this funds. This is something truly that, that, that's going to work for the community because, of course, you folks, you folks planned it out and wrote it yourself. So, so again, th congratulations, Phoenix. Um, I want to recognize a few people. Um, Mayor Williams um, for her leadership and, uh, and, to, and to that of her predecessor, uh, Greg Stanton. Also want to thank um, Cindy and her team um, and everybody at the city. Um, for, for their efforts on this. Um, I want to uh, recognize a few people from HUD, um, our field office director, Stephanie Smelnick, and our director of public housing, Sharon Alfonso. Thank you. Thank you. Next, I'd like to welcome Ed Zerker, Phoenix City Manager. Ed oversees the largest council manager form of government in the United States with over 14,000 city employees and a $3.4 billion annual budget. Welcome, Ed. Good morning and welcome. It's good to be here. Uh, thank you to our regional administrator for being here, all the staff, uh, the mayor, residents, partners. It's really gratifying. It's a proud day for, for us at the city. Uh, I just want to talk for a couple of minutes about three groups that I think are so important in this momentous day. This is really an important day. I'll start with our mayor and city council who have stuck with, uh, with this project for years. As the mayor mentioned, back when she started in 89, 90, 91, there was the beginning of, of talk about this. And Mayor Williams, as you mentioned, Mayor Stanton, Councilman Johnson, Councilwoman now, Councilwoman Gallego, all have believed in this neighborhood and have held true to this neighborhood. And I'll tell, say, say just a, a little bit about that in a second. The second group I want to thank is our employees who work tirelessly and care so much about what they're doing here. The effort that was put into this grant, HUD, you set a very, very high bar for us to meet in this grant. And I think it paid off in the quality of the proposal. So thank you for that. Lots of sleepless nights from lots of people to get this done. And mostly I want to thank our residents who have always believed in this location, who have believed in this neighborhood, and who, who want to be here and who have committed to being a part of this. I think we said our voices, our, our voices, one vision, that really speaks to it. And uh, I shouldn't neglect to mention another councilman who was important here, former councilman now, Just the Peace, Cody Williams, was also part of that chain of people who have believed here. Um, I, but I reflect back about 10 years ago, I became the deputy city manager and one of the departments that was assigned to me was the housing department. And those of you who are here for the, the original pitch, forgive me if you've heard this before. But I was struck then by one of the things that was going on was I was visited by several people who had ideas and dreams for this area. And they came with beautiful pictures. But what I noticed was all their pictures, while they were beautiful, all their stories ended with, but the people who live here, we're going to move them out. And that's where our mayor and our council said, no, you're not. We're, we're not going to go for this. The people who live in this place, the people who have a history in this place, whose families have grown up here, who want their children and grandchildren to grow up here, they deserve to see the best part of what this can be. And that's what this Choice Neighborhoods does. It keeps the people who are invested in this neighborhood, the residents who have lived here for generations and who want to, our partners around us like St. Luke's and uh, Phoenix Revitalization, 
Jackie and the group from East Lake Park, people who have invested blood, sweat, tears, and life here. This Choice Neighborhoods grant that we have put together together keeps people who want to be here here. It does not say, this is good, but it's going to be for someone else. It says, this is great, and it's going to be for you. And that's what I'm so proud of with this effort by our city employees, with our HUD partners, with our neighborhood partners, and mostly with our residents who never gave up on the city. Thank you. And we will not give up on you. And we are together going to make this an amazing place that's a gem for the city. So on behalf of city employees, I thank our mayor and council. I thank HUD. Mostly, I thank our employees, but mostly I thank our residents and our partners who are here. So it's a great day, and let's celebrate. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. Now, last, we have a very special guest, Martha Ortiz. She's a resident of Sydney P. Osborne Homes. Martha is a graduate of our Resident Leadership Academy, and she's a member of our Resident Leadership Council. So Martha has stuck with us through the two years of planning, shown up to almost all of our meetings, and helped get other residents into our meetings and give us feedback from the residents. So thank you so much, Martha, for being here. Welcome. <laughs> Buenos días. Um, bienvenidos a todos. Muchas gracias a todos. Uh, la uh, alcaldesa de esta ciudad. Good morning. Welcome to everybody. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, welcome and uh, to the mayor of the city. La policía, todos los lo del departamento de, del housing, eh, Todo, todo este tiempo que hemos trabajado juntos. Eh, eh. The police and the, 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 uh, hot, the uh, personnel and everybody, all of us that have worked together all this time. Ha sido algo um, muy emotivo. Todos hemos aprendido porque hemos estado en clases de liderazgo. Gracias, Jessica. Gracias, Eva Oliva. Un momento. It's, it's been uh, very rewarding and very exciting. We, ha we all have learned a lot. We've been taking uh, leadership cl classes thanks to um, Elba? Eva Oliva. Eva Oliva. Jessica. Jessica. Bernice. Bernice. Um, oh, todas, uh, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. All of them, C Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Eh, todos logramos, si ustedes pueden mirar, eh, esa, eh, todas esas manos son todos juntos, podemos hacer la diferencia. Eh, we all, if you see those hands, we all together can make a difference. Y ese logo que dice la comunidad del futuro, porque no estamos viendo esto, estamos viendo ya la comunidad del futuro. And if you see the logo, it's the future, because we're not just seeing this right now, we're seeing uh, towards the future. Todos juntos estamos aquí, los residentes, todos los departamentos que están aquí. Miramos no solamente esta comunidad, la diferencia. Uh, all of us are together here, the residents and all the departments. We see together uh, all that difference. Sino toda la ciudad de Phoenix, porque en este estado, todas las personas van a mirar que a pesar del calor que tenemos, and it's not just the, the city of Phoenix, but the whole state, because everybody's going to see that in spite of the heat we have, Todos van a hoy un día everybody's going to want to come and visit, because like today, we have a cloudy day. The sun uh, uh, hit a little bit. It said, wait, wait, wait. Van a venir personas de otro estado y no queremos que se asusten con el calor. Uh, there are people that are coming from other states and we don't want them to be frightened by the heat. Entonces, muchísimas gracias a todos para estar aquí. Ahorita yo soy parte de una asociación de vecindario. Uh, so thank you very much to all of you for being here. I'm a part of a, a, a resident association. En la comunidad de Cindy P. Osborne and the community of Cindy P. Osborne. Y vamos a seguir adelante todavía con los nuevos proyectos que siguen. And we're going to continue um, uh, working on the new product, projects tenemos, uh, that are coming. Tenemos un jardín comunitario. Lorena Méndez y su esposo son parte de ahí. Uh, we have a community garden. Lorena Méndez and her husband, they're part of it. Tenemos clases de educación. Porque no está ahorita todos los jóvenes que están, los miramos para el futuro con carreras terminadas. Uh, we have education because all the, all the uh, young uh, 
people that we have right now. We see them in the future uh, with uh, college education. Y nuestros nietos, la futura generación que ahorita está aquí y está creciendo, va a crecer con más potencial todavía. And our um, grandkids, the generation, the little ones right now, they're going to grow and they're going to have even more potential. Gracias a todos en esta mañana y que tengan un buen día. Thank you all this morning and have a wonderful day. Thank you so much, Martha. That is the most gratifying uh, part of working on this grant was working with the residents and giving them these plans and the opportunity to improve their neighborhood. Um, I do, as Ed said, mentioned before, um, there was a lot of work that went into this application. Uh, two years of work, 70, over 75 meetings, over 1,000 participants, many sleepless nights, uh, creating the 500-page grant application. I want to recognize the housing employees that are in the room. Can you all raise your hands, housing employees? Angela, Keon, everybody, thank you. Lots and lots of work, and thank you all so much, because it was all worth it. You did a great job. Um, that concludes the ceremony. We're um, going to have some photo opportunities, and then stick around for some questions and answers, and please take a look at the boards and the plans. Thank you.